Shalom. Call all your how about shimmy all shy. All right. This is right up upon God. Tell it's the Israel camp. Uh, want to touch on this coin short this nationwide coin shortage that that uh this country has entered into, and it's very apparent and very clear that they are really trying to collapse this do dollar and create a cashless society. Now, there was a news article last month around June twentieth or twenty second, or the twenty second, talking about how they were trying to um. They're trying to do that. They were that they were experiencing it at that particular point, but now it's become very apparent that it's happening damn near in every store that you're going into. Just after camp, when I went into the store the other day, it said that it had this same sign: "Due to the Federal Reserve coin shortage, please pay with exact change or use another form of payment." All right, so definitely. Um, this is what's going on. So let's go ahead and play this video and I'm going to read another article about this. These and other coins are in short supply. Some retailers have even posted signs asking for exact change only. Look at that. We found these at a Home Depot in Marlboro and a big Y in Norwood. The Federal Reserve blames the coin disruption on the pandemic. And the Mass Bankers Association says it's just temporary. And see... They're blaming this on the pandemic. Let's see. Well, let me play that back. They're blaming this on the pandemic, so to speak. And this is uh, the ramifications of of this uh, pandemic uh, so-called virus known as uh, COVID-19. The shortage of money. All right. That's ensuing right now. As Bankers Association says, it's just temporary. It's a classic supply and demand issue. With stores closed, uh, you know, laundromats closed, universities, uh, in, uh, in schools, big users of coins, there was no way to get the money back into circulation. But as the economy opens and more small businesses open, uh, the problem should resolve itself. But see, that's the point. It should resolve itself, but they're talking about a second shutdown. And... Most likely, the second shutdown might be a permanent shutdown. It's a good, a good, good chance, not saying that it will be, um, but definitely reforms are going to come in place. Now, this coin shortage, what I would say with this coin shortage, as f best of my knowledge, like like they said, the circulation of coin, the coin shortage, and you know, business is not uh, business is not not ensuing, and uh, them shorting up. Um, also, too, I want to. Hey, the sign that I look, looked at when I was at the Rite Aid, it said um, small, I think it either said big bills or small bills, but one of the two, all right? So definitely this, this has impact, impacted the economy, all right? Um, heavily. Um, and of course, circulation of coins, if businesses are allowed to stay open, it might be temporary, but it might be a big problem. But definitely, this, this is all orchestrated by, I mean, at the end of the day, the most high, because the Lord is bringing this punk-ass country down to his knees. Um, but definitely, uh, the international banking families are uh, making a move on this, on this place, man. Another challenge for the coin supply, Mass Bankers says about 95% of all financial transactions now can be done electronically, which means fewer people are using cash anymore anyway. The pandemic has likely increased the use of touch-free services, especially digital payments. Public health experts say they are safer. Than oh yeah, digital currency. They, were, they announced that uh, la like a month or two ago, like two or three months ago, that they were going to do a digital currency. All right, they're trying to st structuralize something like that all right so this is all heading this is all uh plans their plans to uh, turn this country into a cashless society all right um using cash i don't know about you emily but i yeah so that's pretty much it on that um <clears throat> before i get the scriptures let me go ahead and oops lock it. look we have a question let me go ahead and go to this article i found today all right 
or Salaki. That that was from uh, a month ago. But there's a there's a new one because of course this is the uh, the one that was announced back in June eighteenth. All right, about the nationwide coin shortage. Let's go ahead and. Uh, U.S. Mint, at, okay, U.S. this is from USA Today. U.S. Mint asks Americans to stop spending their coins to help th with coin shortage to, or to start spending their coins to help with coin shortage, all right, spurred by COVID-19. The U.S. Mint is asking for help, salt, help for help, the, uh, uh, Slocky, the U.S. Mint is asking for help, solve the nation. Why, uh, why coin shortage caused by the coronavirus pandemic? The COVID-19 shortages of pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters led the Federal Reserve to start uh, rationing coins in June, and banks have been begging customers to break out their piggy bank to pump more coins into circulation. Because of the currency uh, deficit, more retailers and restaurants are urging Customers to pay with cars or exact chains, and some temporarily are either not giving or instead offering the the difference of loyalty cards. Now, the mint, which manufactures the coins supply, is encouraging consumers to start spending their coins, depositing them or exchanging them for currency at financial institutions or taking them to a coin redemption kiosk. All right. So yeah, this is a, uh, you know, this is big now. And especially if, cause of course it could get back, you know, can, can get back, uh, you know, above water if people start spending their coins, but let's say another shutdown happens or something like that goes in effect. It's over. All right. Um, so, yeah, this this country's on, on its last tippy toes as last ligaments, like I like to say. Um, let's go ahead and go to this, though. All right. Let's go ahead and go to. Proverbs 11 and, and 1, 11 and 4, Salakia. All right, because. These coins ain't going to save you. This Federal Reserve note known as this this dollar is not going to save you. What's going to save you, so-called black man, Hispanic man, Native American man, or you Israelites, all right, in particular the elect. What's going to save the elect of Israel is the trust and faith of the Most High in these times. Not in riches, not in coins, not in dollars, not in gold or silver, all right, Proverbs 11 and 4, riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from death. All right. So the righteousness of of your doings, keeping the laws and exhorting the truth and your brother in the in Yahweh, why Yahweh shy. All right. That's going to save you in these days. Verse five, the righteousness of the perfect shall direct his way, but the wicked shall fall by his own wickedness. All right. So you got to be right with the most high. That's what's going to save you in these last days. So let's go ahead and go to coins. Let's go to book. All right, Ezekiel 7 and 19, they shall cast their silver in the streets and their gold shall be removed. Their silver and gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of the Lord. They shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bowels, because it is the stumbling block of their iniquity. All right, so this is what's going to end up happening, man. I think we're going to throw the stuff in the streets, throw their gold and silver, all their all their monetary funds in the streets, man. 
And we're going to enter in a cashless society. All right. That's going to lead up to the mark of the beast. It's going to lead up to this new world order that they're trying to establish, man. So, you know, with that said, man, you know, you know, the, this coin shortage is coming. Uh, coin shortage is coming. It's it's just the beginning, man, of the, of the of the perils that's going to happen to America. So with that said, I want to say call law. You how about Shimei al Shai? All right, this is uh, Ray Ben Guy from the Zealots of Israel camp. Much love to you, brothers and sisters in this troop. You priest, promise, elders, sincerely doing this work. That said, I want to say call law. You how about Shimei al Shai and Shalom.